What is up everyone? I am FM Digi and welcome to Chandler FC, a race up the United States Pyramid. This began with me trying to think, what's a football manager missing? And as an American playing a, sp playing a game that is mainly enjoyed by non-Americans. I wanted to bring something American to the game that I could offer, but I really do not like the system as it is right now in America. There is no promotion relegation system. There is no pyramid system. So I found a database and let's pull it up here. Um, sorry. I have found a database that has a system in place and I thought what better way to do it than to take the lowest tier and work my way up to the top. So I created my own club in my home city of Chandler, Arizona. We'll zoom in here into a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona our way in and this is the home of Chandler FC Tumbleweed Park currently in a suburb of Phoenix in the southeast side of Phoenix we um, are going to be building our field Tumbleweed Park on this field currently it's just called Tumbleweed Park but we have some good financing um, some good backing and we have pretty good staff in place who's willing to come in and help take this club to the top reaches of United States football. Looking at the Wikipedia page for Chandler, Arizona, um, I decided to take some of the colors from the official seal and use them in my team color. I also took colors off of my FMDG logo that I'm that I've got and kind of incorporated them both together. Um, one of the things I noticed in here is we are very well known for our parks and recreation. There's a lot of parks here. There's a lot of families. I thought it was the perfect place to start a football club. So what I wanted to do was kind of bring some of the history of Chandler to the club. Um, you know, looked through the Wikipedia page and um, went to the the history part of it, um, you know, kind of what it was. Uh, Dr. John Chandler um, was a veterinarian and settled in what is now Chandler, and that's kind of where it was named after. It was over him. So because of that, our team uh, nickname is the Vets as well. So I kind of wanted to bring that in. Um, actually used his name, but I took the picture because I want an old style picture. I took. Uh, the picture of the current mayor of Gilbert as Alexander Chandler, who is the owner or the founder or whatever, the president of the club. So kind of a little, I'm just trying to integrate some of the history of Chandler into the team. And by the way, this database that I'm using is off of FM Stout. It's USA, new league structure for FM 19. It's a good database. It gets rid of the MLS, it gets rid of anything else, it basically creates a tiered system with these leagues here. We will be starting in the U.S. National Second League. There is promotions, relegations, it's going to be a fun time. If you want to check it out, download this. Um, I'll have the URL for this database in the, um, in the description of the video below. But um, I'm looking forward to having some real fun with this. So welcome to Chandler FC. We were just hired, and as I mentioned, we have a pretty good staff. I already have one of the top coaching staffs and um, recruitment staffs here in Chandler. Let's take a look. Here, the general manager 
is Teddy Kronopoulos. I took him based off of um, a previously existing one. He was the general manager in the club when it started, when I generated it, so we're going to leave him there. He's got decent abilities, so we're good with that. Um, second up is Evan Whitfield, will be an assistant coach. Not his picture. I need to fix that. He is actually from Phoenix area and went to high school here in town. Played in the MLS for a number of years and we've decided to make him an assistant coach on our team. Next up, Charles Martino is just a regen physio. He's going to be our head physio for the team. But we've also brought in local legend Scott Garlick, also played in the MLS. It looks like I need to update the pictures. I'll try to work on that uh, at a later time. But he played in the MLS, played locally, uh, actually played for the U.S. team, I believe. He's going to come in as our goalkeeping coach. And <laughs> again, another erroneous picture. But our head of youth development is Alan Hernandez Sobrino, who is actually one of the best youth coaches in Chandler, Arizona right now. I looked him up. I looked up good youth programs for, for as we call it here, soccer youth programs here in Chandler, and he was all over the place. So really happy to have him on board as our head of youth development. And lastly, I don't know why I can't click this, Eric Eifler. He is our chief doctor. I looked him up. He is the top um, sports doctor here in Chandler, according to Yelp. And so I figured what better person to have be our chief doctor than the best sports doctor in Chandler. And now let's meet the team. Check out the team. See what we're dealing with here. We have a balance currently in the bank of 45000 just under 46000 uh, No transfer budget, obviously. And we've got just over $100 a week left of budget to, be, to spend. Um, I don't imagine that we will get into any high spending with this, especially early on. I don't like to spend anything for the players, uh, especially in lower leagues. Let's meet the squad. So here we are, um, fully generated, sort by ability, and we have Alan Scheel, who is an attacking uh, right side midfielder. Um, and he's best as winger, good. Not the best stats, but you know, got a good work rate. Decent on fitness. Great acceleration, good pace, um, good leadership too, so we'll definitely need that. Um, Mattia Hamilton is, looks like one of our next best players, um, playing ball winning midfielder in the midfield, so that's good. I really enjoy having someone like that. Uh, really good with jumping, natural fitness, leadership, aggression, teamwork. I, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. From this kid, um, Tony Smith, uh, center mid or uh, central defender, um, not the best, not the best. But he can be trained. He's 24 years old. Good natural fitness. I like the teamwork. Determination is a little low. Leadership's a little high. So that's kind of a weird marking it a seven. But you know, at this level, what can you expect? Dale Smith, I don't know if that's Tony's brother, 16-year-old goalkeeper, uh, pretty decent for a 16-year-old. He's got good natural fitness. Pace is interesting. I wonder if we can maybe train him somewhere else if uh, this doesn't work out. But not too bad. Um, Andrea Mastioti, Maza, Mazati. I'm going to screw up a lot of names. Um, and uh, let's see, he is yeah, American. Um, 26 years old, forward, uh, good leadership, he's pretty good off the ball, 
decent physical, so that's good to have. First touch is a nine. Anticipation, better aggression. Okay, I'm liking this. And he can move without the ball, knows what he's doing. Left footed as well. Um, I like that. Um, John Roferrell, another striker, 26 years old. Great determination, great leadership. Oh, he's going to be a heading specialist. Some good fitness. This kid looks pretty good, pretty good. Josh Lee, another striker who can also play a little bit back. He has got some good acceleration, some decent pace, fitness. 27 years old, so he's pretty much near his prime right now. Um, not a bad player. Uh, Luis Gomez, 24-year-old American. Plays defensive mid, has some good defensive stats there. Need to get him working out a little bit more, get the strength up. But I do appreciate the, ter the, the determination, the leadership, uh, things that can be worked on, definitely. Ryan Mills up next, playing uh, left side of the defense. Uh, let's see, he's got some decent... Decent stats here. Jumping reach, natural fitness, heading so he can get those balls headed away that are coming in. Um, good tackling, good marking for this level. I'm pretty happy with him. Okay, next up is Brad Taylor. Um, plays on the midfield, on the left side of the midfield, 26 years old. He's got good acceleration, which I really like on the wing. Uh, determination, leadership, and again, I have so many good leaders on this team. Good pace, good jumping, um, decent technique. Yeah, we'll see what happens with Brad. Emiliano Gomez, um, defender on the right side, uh, plays fullback. So he'll be kind of playing more on the defensive side. He's got some decent physicals. Um, good with the decisions, which you know we need in defense, especially at a young club like this. Um, really need to work on his technicals, but um, not bad, not bad. He is only the third string guy back there, so, you know, work on him, although he is 26, so we'll see. Uh, Mario Moreno, another goalkeeper, uh, 19 years old, not the best stats, um, decently handling, yeah, not the greatest, um, I do like some of his fitness decisions are good, but you know we'll see we'll see how he turns out. Um, Mark Goodman, uh, center mid, we've got him. He's got a really good first touch, uh, decent acceleration, good natural fitness, um, smarter, works hard. Um, so we'll we'll see how he turns out. Not too bad. 24 years old. Um, Brett Gee, playing on the he can play uh, on the right or the left of the midfield. Uh, Primarily on the right side. Um, he's got some good physicals, good acceleration, good jumping, good fitness, good pace. Um, so we'll see how how he turns out. Good determination. I like that. Good determination. Aggression. So we'll see. He'll probably be a team leader in cards, let's guess. Uh, Dan Connor. Dan Connor. Um, playing on defensive. Doesn't have really the best stats down there. He's 23 years old. He's got some good physicals. Needs to work on his technicals. We'll have to train him on that. Being a semi-pro team, it'll be tough to get him uh, moving and training very fast. But we'll work on it. He's only our seventh string guy. Um, but you know, we might. You know, he might be a diamond in a rough. In the rough. Uh, boy. Chibuzo or. Mecca he is another defensive uh, minded player on the left side. He's got decent mentals, decent physicals, could work on his technical. Um, he is our third string left back, 24 years old. We'll see. Rafael Gonzalez, 19 year old attacking uh, midfield on the left side. Um, I would like him to be a little faster, especially playing out of the wing. How is his crossing? Uh, 
crossings with debris, not very good. I want those guys over there crossing them in, playing well. Um, but good young player, good potential, 19 years old. We'll see how Raphael turns out. And lastly on the senior team, I have Joel Edge. Um, left side defender again. He's got mm, okay, I mean he's only 16, he's got okay technicals. He's got some things I can work with him mental. He's got good balance, which is good to keep him centered and everything. Natural fitness. Um, stamina might be an issue. I'm imagining those guys will be running around a lot back there, especially if we do play him inverted wing back. I kind of want to do an easier system, have the defensive line just playing defense, not moving up too, mo too far. Maybe if I get adventurous, we'll move the guys a little bit out, a little bit further up the field on the sides. So that is our senior squad. Um, we'll take a look at reserves, which I believe, yes, doesn't have anyone on there. Um, we'll have an intake, I'm sure, pretty soon. I guess this is what happens with uh, generated club or created clubs. Under 19s, we've got some good talent. I won't go through everyone, but I am liking Espinoza here, Alejandro Espinoza, 16 years old. He has got some good things to see already the best uh, attacking midfielder on the left that we've got. I like his aggression. Uh, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing there. But I've got Dakota Cooper who can play um, behind the strikers in the attacking uh, midfielder role there. He's got some good things. The leadership is good. 13 for a 16 year old. That's pretty awesome. Teamwork, work rate. This is a guy that you really want to have on your team because he's going to help be the glue for that team. Uh, let's see, they got Jack Webb in here. Um, again, another attacking midfielder on the left side. He's got some decent stats. 17 years old, um, promising, promising youngster. And let's see who else we got here. Rafael Hernandez, midfielder. Um, some good physical elements there, um, good vision. Decisions, be smart, determination. I always like determination in players, those that want to play hard. We'll meet a lot of these guys as we go on. Uh, let's take a look at the club in general. Uh, we need to assign our captains. We have our uh, key player and our hot prospect is Alejandro Espinosa, so I imagine he'll be on the first team anytime now. Um, we do play in Tumbleweed, oh, I don't know why that's doing that. Tumbleweed Park is our stadium that was just built for us. Um, we have a capacity of 18, 1,875 people. I believe there's a standing capacity of, let me look, look here. Oh, I can't, um, I wanna say the standing capacity is only about 200. I'll have to find where that is. But is this is our kit, we're taking the colors um, there we've got, uh, for home we do the black and gray, away white, and then our third kit has the city of Chandler, uh, crest on there as I showed earlier. So, we'll see. Brand new club, um, only have one rival team, and it's actually a team that I was originally going to just save on, but they're already in the second tier, so I kind of wanted to get a little deeper, but Phoenix Rising FC... Um, they're in the USL right now, um, and so we are going to be their big rivals. They're going to be our big rivals, even though we won't play them for a few years. A cool thing with uh, Phoenix Rising FC is that a couple of years ago, uh, I guess three years ago, uh, they signed uh, legendary Didier Drogba to be on their team. Uh, he finished his last the last two years of his career here at Phoenix Rising and is now part owner, so I'm curious to see, I don't even know if he's in the game at all. Um, it'd be kind of cool if he was. Uh, see if I can look to see. Uh, I forgot how to look at those things. Let's see. Oh. Uh, I don't see him. Oh yeah, there he is, Didier Drogba, director. So that's really cool that they did that. Um, Continue on. I don't think I have incoming transfers, outgoing transfers coming in, anything like that. Uh, no history, no nothing. 
Uh, let's check out clauses and loans. I don't think we have anything like that. We got general manager. Okay, so good. Um, this season, let's see what the board is expecting. Um, top three. Oh, uh, let's see competitions. They want us to finish top half of the uh, United States National League second division and reach the second round. So it looks like we uh, only have to win one game in that two uh, in the United States National League Cup, which is kind of a lower league cup in the United States. Um, yeah, I can't really see here where we are. Um, National League Cup. Uh, the next highest U.S. Cup is this one, which is the Super Cup, and then there's a few other cups up above. Um, scouting, we haven't set that up yet, but we'll get it going. We got a uh, decent sized budget there to work with for the year. But we've got uh, going to schedule. We've got a couple of friendlies going. Let's see, currently June the 11th. Uh, we got a couple games scheduled in the middle to end of July. I'll see if I can get a Phoenix Rising game in there. Hopefully get some uh, fans to Tumbleweed Park. We'll see if they'll slum it on down to Tumbleweed Park to 10 miles away. Uh, let's look at the team report. So the team in general have really good jumping, which we've noticed, and uh, should be able to compete in the air. So that's good. Lots of leaders, so that's good. Determination, I'm really happy with that. We've got decent budget and some good youth talent. Um, <laughs> no... Uh, good players suitable, suitable to play in the goalkeeper for so that's something we need to look at uh, fixing right away same with right back same with left back um, we definitely have some uh, issues in the defensive part of the of the of our club so we'll need to deal with that um, goalkeepers obviously need help in the area reach communications taking pretty much everything uh, we need to get better with uh, Positioning, so we need to find a coach that will help us with positioning, good technical coach. Um, hopefully we can find another one uh, if we have room on the squad. I'll need to go there and look at that. Uh, let's see what else. Lacks bravery, balance, stamina, okay. Uh, pretty much everything else, uh, balance is zero, maybe we have a transfer. We're not going to be doing a transfer anyway. Let's look at the staff and see if we have any room for them. Yes, we do. We can... Let's look for a coach, uh, play some adverts out there for just a coach. Get some good technical coach going on there, some of the high technicals. Um, while we're there, we will do an advertisement for scouts. And I'll see if they can let us do one for any of the physios just to help out with that. We have, you know, they're letting us staff them, so let's staff them. Check the inbox, okay, we've been hired. Thank you very much, happy. Uh, let's attend the meeting. So, Alexander Chandler is our owner and president of the team. Um, let's get this meeting started. Uh, view, overview. Um, I don't think it's going to be valuable because there isn't any. And I don't want to have be structured any sort of any sort of uh, things. I don't want any philosophies holding me back. So let's just coach as we coach. Um, Focus on oh, that's me for journalist, even though I'm going to have my staff do most of that. Um, here's my introduction. Here's my Whitfield. I'm going to get his picture and other pictures in there. Yes, yes, yes. Let's meet the rest of that. Um, I don't normally do any sort of training, so I will. That off. I go in every once in a while and kind of mess with stuff, but I don't particularly like to be in charge of that. Uh, we tend to screw it up a lot. Uh, pep talk, I will do that. Present instructions, we can take care of. Coaching the youth teams, go for it. That would be ideal. Um, press conferences, yes, I think that would be a great idea. Free agent offers. You show me future prospect transfer list of players. Okay, good. We'll get that out of the way. Thank you, Mr. Chandler. Uh, good, no injuries. Tactics we'll do later. Training we'll deal with later. 
Taking care, yep. Uh, packets, yeah, okay. Uh, responsibilities, let's go and make sure we have all those set. Um, I'm going to let the general manager handle all of this. Uh, transfers incoming. Okay. And I want to be the one finalizing any signings, just in case anyone slips through that I don't really partake, I don't really like. I want to be in charge of that. Um, outgoing. Um, let's see, I take care of incoming offers. Definitely. Uh, offer first in priority is listed for Long Beach. I let Teddy take care of that. Contract renewals. President, I'll give that to Teddy. You team, I will let Alan handle. And I will let Teddy handle that. Scouting, we will head to Chief Scout to set the assignments. Um, update me on the players will be him, and then handle scouting needs will also be him. Training will be that, so we are good with all of the responsibilities. Uh, when we are scouting a player, I like to do this, is, um, scout someone, I like to keep them on a short list for at least uh, six weeks, six months, just to make sure uh, no one falls through the cracks that I've scouted. Okay, so let's get a look at tactics and push-ups. Yep, confirm that change. Um, since we do not have any sort of philosophies we're going to be judged against, I want to make sure that uh, I play something I'm good uh, with, and I am really into excuse me, I am really into possession play and attacking play. Um, if you have the ball, your opponent doesn't have the ball. They cannot score if they don't have the ball. So we're going to dominate the the. Uh, we're going to play a little tiki taka. I'm going to probably play with it, but I like to use this as a sort of um, baseline to go with. I do want my wings out there. I am liking that. Uh, there it is. I'm probably going to stay with this formation primarily just because our defense is a little weak on this team and having the, um, the defensive mid back there helping out, I think can help. So we'll go with that. Um, definitely kind of play with these a little bit as we figure out. I do want to have the tempo just a little bit, uh, not so minimal. We'll just go medium tempo there. Uh, transition. Let's see, when possession has been lost, counter press, when possession has been won. Let's hold our shape a little bit. We can distribute to the fullbacks as well as the center back. Um, do not want to be taking the long kicks, just lumping it forward because majority of the time end up losing the ball with that. Um, out of possession, we're going to run some a little bit lower than these lines here, um, but definitely leave everything else as is right there. Um, dynamics, you know, brand new team. We're just getting to know each other. Let's have a team meeting and um, hopefully uh, everyone's liking this. So we, the goal is to finish. Um, in the top half, so let's go for that. Um, it's gonna say that, and hopefully they like what I'm saying. Okay, good, good. Made it, made them happy. So we're gonna go for a top half finish this year. Uh, let's go back, some American transfers. This will be really interesting. I've done a couple test um, playthroughs with this save, or with this database, and it's interesting to see kind of how the clubs move around. Um, Actually, I did a, um, went on holiday with this one overnight, and it ran 20 seasons, and uh, Chandler SC fell out the first season and was relegated into the ether and never to be seen from again. So hopefully we can fix that. The background, uh, found in 2018, uh, Chandler Football Club, semi-professional club, playing in the United States National League Second Division. We were known as the vets, as previously explained. Uh, Alexander Chandler um, was a veterinarian, so I wanted to kind of take on that history again. Have a report we've looked over. 
and I would have loved to get some youth facilities better. I definitely like pushing youth facilities early on. Um, I doubt they're going to let us do it because we're new, but let's see. Been as long as, as expected. Okay, so that will conclude this episode, kind of abbreviated episode of uh, Chairman FC series. But thank you um, for joining. If you like what you're seeing and want to see more, um, please uh, follow, subscribe, and um, don't forget to click the notification bell to know when I'm going to have new videos. I'm hoping to make this a more regular series, so put down in the comments below what you'd like to see, if there's anything you think I missed, um, and you know, definitely looking forward to see what we can do with Chandler FC. Thank you very much.